Hey guys, hey, it's me again. Wanted to uh, make a quick video here for you to talk about uh, the uh, market for uh, the cards that go into these simulation games that we play. Now I know that a lot of us don't really like to think in terms of markets. We don't like to think in terms of supply and demand. We don't want to think too much in terms of scarcity. Um, in fact, there are people who create these games who don't like to think in those terms. And I'm going to be honest with you, I think that they're mistaken in not thinking in those terms. So um, the big question here comes with the uh, famous Stratomatic Black set that came out uh, this season. That is the sort of black on white printed set, which is really designed, I think, for people like me who um, are turning a little bit older. It just so happens that most Stratomatic fans are not that young anymore. Um, and uh, those of us who are um, looking maybe for something that's a little bit easier on the eyes, you know, I do everything on my computer in dark mode. I like to have a dark white text on a dark background or preferably like a blue text or something because it's better on my eyes. It makes it so that I don't feel like I'm going bug eyed all the time and it helps me avoid headaches. Um, and so it's pretty interesting that Stratomatic came out with the entire game and the entire set and so on um, and that they limited it to a certain number. Now, um, there was a lot of concern about this among some fans of Stratomatic as there really should be, I think, because there's a lot of concern that, oh, well, this is something that is that is a limited edition and this is something that is designed to um, get people to purchase it because of the fear of missing out. They limit it to, what, 400 copies total, right? They, we know that there are more than 400 people who buy the Stratomatic season every year. And so, you know, this is... Um, Maybe, you know, sort of marketing uh, plan and effort that a lot of people don't think too kindly of. But, I mean, I'll be honest with you, right? I actually think that this is a brilliant move on the part of Hal Richmond. I'm going to say this for a couple of reasons. So, first of all, the most obvious reason why is because... There's not going to be a whole lot of people who want to buy the 2022 season. I'm going to be honest with you. You know, baseball um, in the last 20 some odd years has declined in popularity in the United States. And in particular, there is a decline in the number of people who play these baseball simulation games. This is, I believe, because of a poor product that is being produced on the field, combined with the frustrating um, uh, way in which advanced metrics have taken the game over and taken a lot of the fun out of baseball. Um, and if you disagree with me, that's fine. But I'm going to tell you that, um, you know, if you keep telling us that uh, stolen bases and sacrifice bunts and things like that are not good and are bad for us, you know, I mean, that takes a lot of the fun, a lot of the spirit out of the sport. It really does. Um, and at some point in time, people will just stop watching. We'll watch a sport that actually has guys running instead of a bunch of fat guys scratching themselves. Um, so there's a problem, right? You know that 2022 is not going to sell that well, and so you might as well go after the collector's market, right? You see this sort of thing in other games, in other card-based collectible games. There's been a lot of criticism recently, for example, in Magic the Gathering, which has been doing a similar thing. You make a lot of special, you know, limited edition sets to offset the fact that fewer people otherwise would be buying your cards. And then fortuitously, you have kind of economic criticism craziness, which means that all sorts of insane investors think that they can put money into your cards. Spoiler alert, that's probably not going to work so well here, but maybe that will happen, right? That's the first reason. The second reason why Stratomatic should make this limited set is because Stratomatic has a reputation to uphold. Stratomatic in the past has created sets that are limited edition, right? If you want to buy the, I think it was a 1978 Super Advanced season that came out a couple years ago, guess what? You have to go on eBay because they sold out of it and uh, the, the cost is pretty high. This is important because it keeps collectors in the game. Hal Richmond easily and the others at Strat, they easily could reprint this forever and just keep it in stock forever, and that would make the players happy. But there would be a decline in demand because people who purchased the set would not be able to purchase it with the knowledge that this set likely will be able to sell for a higher price in the future. Again, it feels scummy, but it's true. You have to keep that in mind when you're creating any sort of product, any sort of physical game, that there's a certain percentage of your audience that might be interested in buying this game in part because of the game and the way to play with it, and in part because of its perceived potential retail va or resell value. If you just print it to the ground, there's no resell value, and you may lose out on a lot of sales on the front end because of that, right? Think of it this way. If you're playing Stratomatic with car and dice and there are a lot of people who do that i see them on youtube all the time if you're playing stratomatic with the cards and the dice and keeping score by yourself and a new set comes out and it's 1978 and you're like i really want to get that if you know that the company is likely to keep that set in print forever you're not going to buy it right away you're going to wait for you to finish up with your project which might take another two to three years before you go buy these this new set of cards and have fun with it but if you strongly suspect that stratomatic is going to sell out of this set right away 
then of course you're going to buy it right away anyway. And that gets a sale right off the bat for Stratomatic. Then they could do it again with 1976 or 1982 or one of these other seasons they've come out with recently. So, you know, it's a good thing and it's a good idea for the company, not just in terms of trying to stay afloat in the short, short term, but in terms of like actually getting sales. I think that with a lot of these games that are sort of promised sales and people who are interested in the product, but they don't necessarily buy it. Anyway, the uh, the final reason, though, why I think that this is important and why I think this was a good move by Stratomatic, honestly, is because they're trying something different. Um, and um, whether you like the cards or not, at least they're trying. They're trying to do something. They're trying to make something happen, right? And as you can see here on the uh, secondary market, right, it's sort of working. So this is everything here that is currently for sale. You can see that we've got one here. Someone's bidding on this. This is um, number 253 of the 400. And um, I mean, it's a nice looking set. I will give you that. And you can see all of the charts and everything is in the black and white. I don't know if the entire game itself is black and white or not, though. Um, I think it is just the season cards. And my apologies for not knowing this offhand because I really haven't been following Stratomatic that closely. Now, likely the uh, price in the secondary market, if you're interested in this, is probably over 219 because someone's bidding on it. Is it actually a 370? Probably not because no one's bought this, right? The way to do this on eBay, if you're interested in this, is you want to scroll on down here to uh, sold listings, wherever it is. Here it is. And look at completed items. And this will give you a better idea of what people are actually paying for, right? See, so here's the 375 is crossed out here. This tells me that whoever bought this one paid less for it. That's the same photo we saw in this other auction, which makes me kind of wonder, what is this uh, MAG cards? Is that what that says? MAG S cards, Mags cards, and this was also sold by Mags cards. So my feeling is that up, oh, look, this was ended by the seller because there was an error in the listing. They put this up for 375 and nobody was going to pay the 375, so they put it up auction style, right? You do see though that some sets are being sold, some team sets rather, and there are people who are willing to sort of collect those, right? So I mean some stuff is sold. These prices are not necessarily ridiculous. Um but um, then again, I mean, it's not the sort of thing that necessarily you're going to um, want to uh, sell all of your investments off and go completely after. To be honest with you, when it comes to investment potential, if you're looking at investing in collectibles that will hold their value and you're buying new Stratomatic or new APA or new Replay Baseball product, you're an idiot and you shouldn't do that, right? If you're buying old APA and old Stratomatic product, you're still an idiot unless it's like Stratomatic from the early 60s or APA from the single column era, 1957 and before, right? If you're buying anything after that, it's not going to hold its value. I've been following these markets for a long time. It's just not going to hold. There's too much product out there. And there are companies that have whole tons of it in stock that will wait for something to sell big, and then they'll put all their stuff up on eBay for just a little bit less than that and try to sell it off, right? I mean, it's just it's not going to happen, right? I mean, you should buy it because you want to play with it, not because you want to invest in it. If you're looking for something that's investable, that's old, that's a collectible, and you're thinking, screw the economy, I don't want to have economic anything, I want something that I can hold on to, think about old baseball cards. I'm talking, once again, 52 tops, 53 tops, 53 Bowman color, look at 34 Gaudi, 33 Gaudi, look at uh, T206, T205 is a nice set, there's that nice uh, sporting news set from uh, 1916, I want to say M something or other, you got old Cracker Jack set, that's where you should be looking, those cards have really good visual appeal, and there's not a whole lot of them out there, and they have shown over time that they can stand things such as the 1994 player strike and the downfall, the downturn in baseball card collectibles overall. And in the end, they end up actually doing quite well. If you're going after new stuff, you're going to get burned. And if you're going after the simulation stuff, what's going to happen is like 10 years will go by and then you're going to find that nobody wants to play the game anymore except for idiots like me. And I'm not going to pay you that much for it. So... There you have it. Hope you learned a little bit something here. There is some stuff to complain about here. I think for Stratomatic, this is a good decision. But if you're an investor, I mean, like, you might as well buy an NT NFT or whatever. I mean, don't do that. Don't buy this garbage. Go buy something old that's worth money, right? Not something new that, you know, who knows? Who cares about it? All right, talk to you later. Bye.